uh, the topic today is how innovation helps the economy grow. Uh, and I'm, I'm really on HBCUs because uh, not only did I attend one and spent 40 years on the campus, uh, I really know the impact uh, that uh, these uh, colleges and universities have, not only on our economy, but uh, also on our students. So if HBCUs and other minority-serving institutions continue to be underfunded in regards to federal research uh, grants, can the economy grow equally? Dr. West, that's a question for you. Well, the short answer is no. And one of the concerns that I have is if you look at the venture capital money uh, today, three quarters of it is basically concentrated on the coasts. And so most of America is being left out of the growth areas of the economy. Uh, is something like two-thirds of GDP is now taking place in less than one-third of America. Those geographic inequities are devastating. Uh, it makes most of the country feel left behind while the coasts are uh, running ahead and doing very well. Uh, it's, it's bad for our country, and it has a devastating effect on our politics. So um, can the African-American community expect to see the same economic impact from government research grants if uh, HBCUs are, are not receiving proportional federal funding that the uh, PWIs or the predominantly white institutions uh, receive? There deserves to be greater representation uh, there, both from a fairness standpoint, but also from an economic development uh, standpoint. Uh, many of those schools are located in places that are not doing that well economically. And so this is one way in which the federal government can play a constructive role of helping communities that have been left behind by technology innovation and making sure that they're able to compete in the years going forward. Well, thank you for your uh, responses. You know, when you look at across the country, we've got 106 or more of uh, these schools, and um, uh, it would really, I think, be important not only to them, to the students that attend them, but also to our economy for us to uh, take another look there. Thank you.